Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Aesop's Fables, page seven. And this is a mess, but it's all gonna come together in a few minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the eight by eight um, hen and the golden eggs is what I'm gonna use to cover my base. And the base is gonna be on the back side uh, with this strip, and I'm going to add um, uh, a flap here inset one inch from the bottom. So the first thing I'll do is lay down my one inch strip, then add my flap, add some magnets, and then we'll put down the rest of the base paper. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start with the strip. <clears throat> Which I am on page seven. Did I ink it? Yes, I did. Okay, there we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our flap right here. And I forgot to burn this. this. Just makes the tape come off easier. This is a four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. Score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. Well, good grief. <laughs> there we go. I wasn't going to let go. Okay, and that's straight across. It looks like it's just hanging over a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off very quickly with my ruler and my X-Acto knife. It's just a little bit. This looks like I missed a bit. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go down when we open it. So let's go ahead and add our magnets. Um, we're going to have some pop-ups inside here. So I am going to add an extra magnet just to make sure it holds everything in place. I should have probably done that on a couple of other pages, but I'm sort of learning as I go. Go. Sorry, my air just popped on. I'll try to edit that out of my sound when um, before I upload the video. So you still may be able to hear it, but hopefully it won't be so bad. Okay, so that's in. So we've got our magnets. I'm going to burnish these down. Okay, so from the 8x8, I cut off that one inch strip. We added our flap. Now I'm going to add what was left of the eight by eight. Is that right? Yeah. Mm. Trying to remember what I'm doing here. The reason I was sort of stalling is, do I really want to, I should cut it, okay. 
I actually have this piece is what, what I want here and then I want a green strip on top. And that way I should wind up with two um, panels. I should be able to cover the whole thing and I should have two panels to cover the flap. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is um, the bottom half of this image. It's gonna go right here on top of these magnets. I hope, let me make sure it's gonna cover completely. Yes, it is. I was originally planning to cover the whole thing, so we're going to have a little black seam right there. And all this is going to make a lot more sense in a, in a few minutes. <clears throat> okay. This is a fun page. This is going to wind up being the backdrop. It's, it's cute. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, now I'm going to use this down here. Yep, down here. Move the tape. And again, so far all I've used is the 8x8 eight eight sheets here. Now we're going to trim out a little bit here. We'll have a nice little black gap and I'm going to use my pencil to measure it. And trim it. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hopefully this is just right. I'm going to turn it over so I can get a better look. You might need to straighten something out. Yeah. Looks like I need to take just a smidge off one side. That's pretty close, huh? I think I'll... I think I'll make that work. Okay, let's get some ink on the edge I cut. I think it looks good. Okay, that's it. That's a little too much. Okay, we'll turn it back around. So there's where we are so far. Okay, this is from the A4 collection. There's also the same cut apart in the 12 by 12, and I'm not sure if it's in the collection pack or the patterns pack, but 
it's in one of those two 12 pipe by 12s and it's also in the A4. So I'm going to put this here. So when this is closed, we've got this nice little bit here. Just centered. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna do the fun stuff. Okay, we're gonna create a pop-up. So, as we have on so many, um, I'm going to take the 12, I took the 12 by 12, same image, and fussy cut all the bits out. So I've got this piece, this piece, and some of these eggs. And I'm going to use these as a pop-up uh, so that when you open it, you're going to see this dimensional page right here when you open from the top down. Okay. So the first piece is going to be um, this large, well, is that not, that's not true. This is going to be the first piece. Now this is from the top corner of, um, the 12 by 12, um, hen and the golden egg. So it's, it's got a gold band around it. And so I trimmed all that off. So that's going to be the first piece and it's going to be laid out right here and it's not going to be dimensional. We're just going to glue it down. And then I'm keeping this because when we open it up um, and we have the other pop-up pieces, this is what will be in the background. So it's not just a solid sheet. It just gives it a lot more interest. Okay, so this is going to go right here in the corner. Like so. <clears throat> This is the other reason I wanted to put two magnets is I know that we're going to do a couple of, we're adding layers here. Okay, and all I did was uh, fussy cut this out and put ink around the edges. Okay, so the next big piece um, that we're going to add is this chicken and it's going to go roughly in the same uh, Is that right? No, it's this. This is the next big piece. So it's going to go uh, about right here. So what I did is I trimmed off, trimmed out a bunch of what was left over the 12 by 12 uh, sheet. I had these bits left over, and that's what I'm going to use um, to add these to the page. Hopefully that will make sense in, in a second. So our first one, I taped them so I would remember how I did it. Uh, the first one is going to be this strip that I'm working with, and you'll wind up cutting them down to, to, to fit, is one inch scored in half. Now I am going to glue it on the back with a score line toward the bottom of the image. Now the way I want to use this paper is I want, when you're kind of looking in the back, I want the green to show. So I am going to fold it this way because it's going to get glued down like this, okay? Does that make sense? So this first piece is going to get glued in like so. The, the, the hinge is going to get glued onto the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that with the score line. Fold it in half so you can see what I'm doing. With the score line right on the edge of this cut apart. Okay just like so. Now this is a one inch piece scored in half, so the whole thing is an inch wide, but the half that's left hanging, this piece is half inch. So that means when you open this door, this piece is gonna stand off a half inch from the back, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and figure out where I want it to land, and that looks about right. Now I'm gonna glue this piece down to the flap, okay? Not to the base of the pocket page, but to the flap. And I know it's a half inch, so I'm just going to double check again. I do want it to overlap a little, 
So it's a half inch and I'm just putting it right up to the score line. Like so, okay. Now we're gonna brush that into place. And it looks like it's a little crooked. So I'm gonna straighten it out a little. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna shove it into place. Okay, now when we open up our flap, we want this to pop up, but we also want this edge to be attached. So we're going to use a second piece of the same material or same pattern, just because we want it to kind of disappear and not be your eyes be drawn to it. And we're going to glue one, of, this is one and a half inches. So you got a half inch, a half inch, and a half inch. So the half inch is just to make it easy to glue down. Okay, pretty straightforward. Then you have a half inch on top and another half inch. This half inch here is what's gonna get glued here. So we're gonna push it down Sorry, it's very hard to see, I'm sure. We are going to push it down. So we got a half inch here, here. We're gonna add our glue here. Then we're gonna close the flap and that's where the location of the sec the, the pop-up hinge is gonna be. So you'll see in just a second. Okay, we're gonna fold that down just like so. Now we're gonna close the whole flap, not just the um, element that we just glued down. We're gonna close the whole thing. Hold it into place for a second. <clears throat> and when we open it up, you can see there's our dimensional element. Isn't that cool? All right. I'm going to burnish this a little bit so it's a little flatter. Okay. All right. So that's our first dimensional element. The next piece is going to be the chicken. Now I've got a half inch hinge here that I'm going to apply to the chicken. So this is actually um, one inch scored in half. And then um, this is one and a half inches scored at half inch, one inch. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. I have to think about it. I think, uh, yeah. So really what you need, yeah, is one and a half and one inch. So I'm going to glue this onto the bottom of my chicken here, and it's going to get glued on here somewhere. Okay, remember we want the hinge to be at the bottom. Okay, oops, I did that backwards because I want the grain to be the upside. Sorry about that. Let me clean that up a little bit so that when it's open, you see the green and not the brown, like so. Okay, now that's gonna need to dry a little bit. Okay, okay so now we're gonna place this here. So my, um, what I want to do is I'm gonna use this to create dimension between this pop-up and this pop-up. So this element is actually gonna get glued basically right behind the bucket, and then it's gonna get attached to this. So when I pull it down, it will, um, you'll see how it adds another half, an out, half inch dimension. Now in this case, the grain is up. I'm gonna attach um, tab one here behind the bucket, and that's because um, the bucket is over this part and not this part. Oops, it didn't want to lay down straight for me. Okay, looks good. Okay, now this is a half inch. We know that because it was one inch scored in half. So we can use this edge to butt it up against this. And that's going to give us our half inch. 
Then we can lay everything down and get this ready to be glued to that, okay? And I just noticed I didn't ink any of these edges and they're standing out to me, so I'm gonna go try to remember to do that on some of my other ones. Okay. Okay. I was just trying to see where it's gonna fall. Okay, that looks pretty good. A little off the edge of the paper. So I'm just pulling it in a little bit because I came off the edge here. Okay, that's going to look like that. Okay, so now we need our little spacer here. So we've got the first half inch, skip the center half inch, put glue on the third half inch, lay those two down so you should have an inch going this way. And then we're going to pick up and close the whole thing. <clears throat> and open it. There we go. It's pretty straight, pretty easy, huh? So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And then we're gonna add a couple more bits. Then we'll come back and decorate this flap. Okay, there we go. I should have inked that edge. It's gonna bug me. Might come back with a uh, a pen and just sort of a, a light brown pen and sort of go over that. Okay, so here is um, another egg that I want to use and I'm going to, I've got two, I've got this one and then I've got another one that's a little bit smaller and I'm going to stack these right in front of each other like so. So I want to make sure I don't completely cover up my chicken when I'm done. Okay, this is one inch scored in half, that half inch, and I want the pattern side up so that when it's open, when it's exposed and open, you're going to see the green pattern and not not the other pattern. And before I lay this down, I'm going to let that glue dry and I'm going to ink it. Something I should have been doing all along, but I wasn't. And a little more ink. Okay. Okay. So this is straightforward. I want this to be a half inch away from the chicken. So I'm just going to lay it right down here. Make sure it's inside the flap line. So it's going to look like that. Cute, cute. So that means I need another one and a half inch with a half inch score, one inch score. It's going to go right down here and pull that egg off the page. And you can put it either up here by the egg or down here. I don't want it to show, actually, I think I'll do it about mid egg, which means I need to trim this a little bit thinner. So basically the widths are determined by your fussy cutting. So that's why I'm not really giving you those measurements. Because if you fussy cut more or less, you may need to trim more or less than I have. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. This is tab one going to go down right here on the egg itself. Tab two, tab three are laying flat. I'll add glue to tab three. We'll close the flap. And then we'll have another dimensional piece. There we go. 
And then here's our last piece. It's going to go right here. And I actually don't want it to come out a whole half inch. So I'm just going to trim this and I'm just going to do, do it, eyeball it to about a quarter inch. So it was one inch scored in half and I cut off a little bit of extra. I'm going to ink all that up, glue it down, then we'll close it uh, and find, um, oh, actually we'll have to make a different size. So I'm just going to butt this edge right up to this edge um, to help locate it. Just like so. Okay. So this will need to add there we go. I know you guys are seeing a lot of the top of my head. This will need to add um, a strip to hold it or yeah, to pull it with this egg. So it's going to be a half inch, a quarter inch, and a half inch. So it's going to be one and a quarter inches and it'll be the width of the egg. So let's see if I've got something that's one and a quarter inches. The quarter inch will be the centerpiece because that's the distance between um, this egg and this egg. Hopefully that makes sense. So it's a half inch, quarter inch, and then a cut at half inch. Okay. Hold that and show the changes. Okay. Again, these are just scraps that were left over. Okay, so I have a half inch, quarter inch, half inch. Like so. So you can see it's smaller. So now I'm going to do the same thing I've done with all the other pieces. I'm going to glue one side to the egg. Lay these two this score line down flat like so, put glue down here and then close this flap. So same, same drill. So I'm gonna put it on the first half inch. Hopefully it's as narrow as the egg and it is. It's gonna go here. We're gonna skip the quarter inch space and then we're gonna add glue to the half inch. Okay, we lay it back down so the quarter inch and the half inch are both flat. Close the whole thing. By the time you guys are done with this album, you'll know how to do so many pop-ups, different techniques. There we go, isn't that fun? I think that makes it a lot of fun. Okay, so all of the pop-up elements are attached just using scrap green from the 12 by 12. This is from the A4. And then all of the fussy cut elements are from the 12 by 12, as well as this piece that's actually on the base. And then the base is from the eight by eight. Okay, now we still gotta cover this, but that's it for page seven. I didn't realize my rooster's head was gonna, or my chicken's head was gonna stick out a little bit. I wasn't, that was not the plan, but I don't mind it. And that's it. And you can see I still had some bits and pieces. So not a lot, but um, enough to do what you're gonna do. So most of these pieces, you wanna um, come up with the width based on the element that you're trying to pop up. And they're, score, they're either one inch or one and a half inches. One inch, one and a quarter, or one inch. So um, these two elements are one inch strips scored in half. This is one inch scored in half, and this is one and a quarter. Okay, that is that. And then I've got two magnets. Okay, so you should have enough paper, and now you can see where all that paper went. It was a mess when we sat down. Now I still have to figure out a way to get uh, my story here. Um, so the idea that I had was, you know, you read the story and then you open it up and see the chickens. That was kind of what my thought process was. So I need to figure out how to get my chicken in. And this looks a little too bland. So I think I'm gonna look for uh, something either from the patterns or the A4 to introduce uh, something that's a little more interesting than just all this green, particularly since this is kind of simple. Now, when we do install the story, 
it has to be up above this hinge so that when you open the hinge, the card doesn't interfere with, with opening it. So it has to be flush with this edge. So I'll come back when I've figured out what my paper is going to be and we'll finish that up. But see, you can already tell even with just this paper behind it, it's more interesting than more green. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, everyone, I've made my last few choices for um, page six. So this is the back side of um, the 12 by 12 grasshopper and the ant. I um, trimmed an eight by eight piece and then I had some leftover and that's what I'm gonna use here. And that's partly because I know there's blue as part of um, the storyline here. So I'm going to pull that blue back in. So you should have uh, a strip of this blue that's adequate to cover this. If not, I would just recommend uh, finding a blue piece. It doesn't have to be uh, this one. It could be, there's a couple, there's stripes. There's a couple of other options. Um, but I do want it to be blue because the grasshopper and the ant are going to be the, uh, um, the page that's uh, across from it which has blue in it. So I want to pull blue into the hen and the golden egg or the chicken and the golden egg, whatever it's called. <laughs> I messed up earlier and said the hare and the rabbit. It should have been the hare and the tortoise. Okay, so that's on. Okay, now that looks kind of boring, I know. So we're going to add the story. So this came off the 12 by 12 and I trimmed it down so it's going to fit right here. This is uh, also from the 12 by 12. So I trimmed it, fussy cut it, and then put some black cardstock on it. So right now I'm looking at doing these two things. And then I have one other piece that I laid someplace else, but we'll go ahead and get started with this. So this is what I'm looking at. And I was thinking about putting this here to cover up that little bit of the um, chicken egg, um, crown. And let's see, did I trim this enough? I think I might need to trim it down. I don't want it to stick out past the flap. And it looks like I need to trim it down a little bit more. So I'm going to mark it and trim it. <clears throat> Can I take that much off the top? I don't know. It's pretty tight. So I'm going to take it off the bottom. And what I'm trying to do is center it, but also have a black border on top and bottom. <clears throat> Add a little more ink. I should be able to put this down. Like so. Yep, that looked good. That looks just right. So I'm going to add some glue. This doesn't have to be cardstock backed. I wasn't sure how where I was going to put this. Um, I do think having the black edges makes it pop out from the page a bit more. So I like it, but it's not necessary. If you do some inking on it, it's going to pop out too. And then we're going to figure out how to get our chicken laid in here. It's pretty thick, so I'm going to burnish this down a little bit. And then real quick, I'm going to go get something to go on the back half, three quarters, actually just the back half of the chicken. Be right back. Okay, I found um, a little scrap of this blue paper, which I'm going to ink and put on the back of the circle element, and then we'll go ahead and glue it down. So we're going to open it up one more time, and there's... Uh, one more element to add to the inside. <clears throat> okay, good, good. So it's going to go down there. about right. Okay, we'll hold that in place for a moment. OK, 
Okay, and then this was actually on top of this and I decided to not use the whole thing, cut it down. So now we're gonna add it to the foot of this flap. Okay, that is it for page six. I'm eyeballing it. It's about one and a half inches in from either side. I need to shove that over a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My allergies. <clears throat> okay, that's it. Page six is finished. Be back soon.